I am Issa K. Mexen. I worked for the Norwalk La Mirada School District for the bulk of my educational career and two years with uh, El Monte. I was a teacher of special education for visually impaired and got my credential and master's from Cal State High. As a special education teacher, and as the only teacher of the vision when I first started within the school district, I had a tremendous amount of autonomy and exercised it. I was able to explore the community with my children, and we would just leave the campus, and that to me was the, that was the education. So the, the rewards were also to see in the world that people are very amenable to being helpful. I had a high school student who was graduating. So I called Mr. Uno at the Coconut Grove and he allowed the students to come in the evening and they heard not only the, uh, the uh, association, but they also Marvin and Gay, Rowan and Martin, and Ella Fitzgerald. So this is the world in its giving phases and it's out there. I am Joyce Wang. I am a teacher at City Terrace Elementary School in Los Angeles Unified School District. The most satisfying part of my work is hearing the kids speaking in the language. I uh, started the Mandarin Immersion Program in 2007. The program started with uh, a class of 20 kindergartners, and so far we have students up to 10th grade. I have a passion for learning because of my father. He's, uh, he was an educator. Actually, I have many, uh, in my family are many educators. So they inspire me and are a good role model for me. I received my multiple subject credential in here, Cal State LA, and I also received a second master's degree in education that prepares me to be a proficient educator. <laughs> Learning a language is not a privilege anymore. It should be open to all students and children. So I'm very proud to be in this profession to spread the blessing to the generations to come. My name is Keith Curry, President and CEO of Compton College. I serve as the president of the college, overseeing the academic and student services here on the campus, but also have an oversight of the Compton Community College District, which is overseeing the facilities, human resources for the campus. The college was not accredited for a number of years, and on June 7th, we received uh, accreditation. And so that's a huge accomplishment for the college, but also for myself. I'm looking at new uh, academic programs to offer on our campus to meet the needs of our students. Looking at a vocational nursing program and also a uh, certified nursing assistant program on our campus. I believe every student is, is a success story. When you see a student who's formerly incarcerated, who decides to come to Compton College, joins our formerly incarcerated program, and who transferred to UC Riverside, graduating with a bachelor's degree and a master's degree from UC Riverside, is now looking at a PhD program. That's what motivates me. That shows that we did our job. I think the, the most satisfying part of my job is working with students. I enjoy student activities. They have a dunk tank uh, for the Associated Student Body. This is a fundraiser that they have each year to uh, raise money. And so uh, I go out there and get dunked. Students are laughing at me when they go through this whole process because I'm not a small guy. And I don't do it for free. Staff pay, community members pay to see me go in the water. My two favorite days on campus are uh, the first day of school, because you can see students who are lost, trying to find their way around campus, trying to find out about the services. Then also graduation, seeing the students uh, complete their uh, educational goal and seeing them able to celebrate that with their family and friends.
I'm Dr. Joan Dissel. I'm the Director of Teacher Education and Public School Programs for the California State University System, and so I work in the office of the Chancellor and used to tutor all the neighborhood children. And so I knew from then that I wanted to become a teacher and that I wanted to go into education. And in all frankness, it was a straight path because there was never anything that could possibly fire up my passion as much as teaching. I work with the teacher preparation, the educator preparation, that means including the principals, um, the administrators, the counselors, across the 23 campuses of the CSU system. And so it is my privilege to work with the great educators who are located on each of those campuses. Um, Cal State LA is one of them that um, just outshines um, so many places anywhere in the whole nation. Um, but it's such a joy for me because I'm working with people who share my passion uh, for excellence, for equity, for social justice, um, all things that we're able to advance in the work that we do in educator preparation. I'm just so thrilled I'm going to be receiving the Distinguished Educator Award at Cal State LA, one of my very favorite campuses. My name is Deborah Duardo and I am the superintendent for the LA County Office of Education. I was raised here in Los Angeles, daughter of immigrants from Mexico. After seeing my uh, three older siblings drop out of high school and go to work, I thought that's what I'm going to do because I don't like school and there's, you know, I'd rather work. I ended up um, having a baby when I was 16 and he is severely disabled. And I realized that if I was going to be a good parent to this child who's going to have a lot of needs, I'd better go back to school and get an education. And I got um, a bachelor's in um, women's studies and Chicana studies. And I was at the time working for the LA Commission on Assaults Against Women uh, because they needed volunteers for their rape and battering hotline and they needed women that spoke Spanish. I, went back to UCLA and I got my master's in social welfare and I did social work for 10 years. I went into administration, became an assistant principal, decided to go back to school and get a doctorate in educational leadership. I never ever dreamed of being a superintendent. I always wanted to just make things better for kids and families and, and I had a, a dream that all kids can learn and that everybody deserved a second chance. I was concerned about the numbers of uh, students that were being um, suspended and expelled for school and the high numbers of students that were dropping out. The most rewarding thing about what I do is seeing how excited students get when you believe in them, when you genuinely uh, care about them, and when you can instill hope and they start to have hope in themselves. I'm Marty Epstein. I'm a professor emeritus in the Department of Physics and Astronomy. I'm Bill Taylor. I'm also retired and very active on the campus, teaching a class occasionally and, and have a research group doing some research. Our partnership with Lincoln High School and then Garfield High School uh, started in 1989. Our, our objective was to try to get more Hispanic students that would be involved in, the, in, sci uh, in science fields and engineering here at, at uh, Cal State or at another university as they chose. So, Essentially, we started with Lincoln High School because we knew one of the teachers there. And we looked at the makeup of Lincoln High School, which at the time was about 75% uh, Hispanic and 25% uh, 
Asian at that time, and the Hispanic students were not represented in the science classrooms anywhere near the 75%. So we established a comprehensive program that uh, laid out what curriculum the students had to take, which included uh, three years of lab science, biology, chemistry, and physics, and it included four years of uh, good solid math and English, two years at minimum of foreign language. Marty and I did this because we were interested in this issue. We assumed it was going to be a year or two that we would be involved and then we would, you know, things would be on the way. And uh, to this day, we're still involved because of the successes of the program. And primarily, uh, their success came not only through their academic success, but through their, their perseverance. Uh, somehow the program, and I have to give most of the credit there to the teachers in the, in this, in the schools, really. They were instrumental, obviously, uh, in getting these kids to the point where they believed they were college material. We would have run on Saturday morning laboratories, and I have to admit the first few times when we would have healthy, energetic teenagers who not necessarily thought this is how they were going to spend their Saturday mornings, and see how the teachers dealt with them and worked with them. And eventually, I think I learned a little bit anyway about, about how to do all this, and it was very rewarding. The interaction with the students we serve here at Cal State LA is, uh, is a very rewarding uh, experience because of when you look at the circumstances they're in, all the, uh, all the obligations a lot of our students have, and that they succeed is, is truly a rewarding thing and that we can provide the, the avenue, the, the pathway for them to succeed is very rewarding. We saw that also at Lincoln High School and Garfield High School when we started there. It was truly a partnership that we established uh, among all of those people and we take some credit for being there, but, uh, but it really truly was, was uh, because of all the contributions from the teachers, the parents, the students themselves, and the administrators at the high school. My name is Priscilla Lee Sarraga, and I'm a Senior Vice President with Teleku. Teleku is all about empowering people. We build quality, affordable homes for families. We provide loans uh, to small businesses and to hardworking families. We build community assets like schools and libraries. The short-term goals of our organization are to ensure that our young people are graduating from high school and from college. Our long-term goal is to ensure that our students are pursuing majors where uh, they will have good opportunities for employment and also to make a difference in our world. What motivates me to do this work is to see the young people from our community uh, sometimes struggle in high school and they may not have the highest grades but once they come into our program uh, they receive the supportive services that they need to really flourish and then they enter into college and uh, we see them graduating we see them going into the workforce and it's just amazing to see the, the beautiful talent uh, that our young people have. It is so important to support the work of our educators. They are prepared to really speak into their lives and to help mold them into the great individuals that they can become. So on behalf of Telugu, I want to say thank you to all of the educators that touch our young people every day.